Oh, said equality, oh, said equality, how lovely are your elementary proofs. A union B is equal to A intersect B if and only if A equals B. Seems pretty obvious, and that's what we'll be proving in today's holly jolly wrath of math lesson. This is a nice basic set theory proof, so if you want to try out some of your newfound skills with set theory proofs, give this one a try. I'll make a few more remarks before we get into the proof, so you can watch a little bit longer with no spoilers. Notice this is a biconditional statement. We're saying A union B equals A intersect B if and only if A equals B. So to prove this, we need to show that if two sets A and B are equal, then their union is equal to their intersection. Pretty trivial direction of the proof. And then we also need to show that if the union of two sets is equal to their intersection, those sets must be equal. Also a pretty easy direction. All right, so let's get into the proof. Actually, firstly, let me just make one more remark. Why is this so obvious? Well, A union B is the collection of all elements from A as well as the elements from B. A intersect B is the elements they have in common. So if the elements that A and B have in common are all of the elements of A as well as all the elements of B, well, that means they have all their elements in common. They're certainly the same set. All right, let's get into it. So first we want to show that if A is equal to B, then their union must equal their intersection. You could tackle this direction of the proof with various levels of detail, depending on what you're comfortable with and what you think makes sense. But let me just show you one very basic string of equalities that is good enough for me. So if we assume that A equals B, then what do we know about A union B? Well, if A is equal to B, we could replace B here with the set A. So A union B is certainly equal to A union A. And then by definition of set union, A union A is certainly equal to A. Then, by definition of set intersection, A is definitely equal to A intersect A. If you intersect a set with itself, you get the set. What's A intersect A equal to? Well, since we assumed A is equal to B, A intersect A is certainly equal to A intersect B. And thus, we've shown that if A is equal to B, then A union B is certainly equal to A intersect B as desired. Like I said, you could go into different levels of detail here if you found it important to do so. You could show that A is a subset of A intersect A and A intersect A is a subset of A, but that's fairly trivial. So I'm comfortable leaving it out here. If you want to do that, you can do it on your own time. Let's move on to the other direction of the proof. For the other direction of the proof, we need to show that if A union B is equal to A intersect B, then A must equal B. Recall that to show two sets are equal, in this case A and B, we need to show that A is a subset of B and that B is a subset of A. Let's begin by showing that A must be a subset of B. To do that, all we have to do is consider any element of A. We can say if X is an element of A, we need to show that it must also be an element of B. And of course, we know this. This is what we're assuming, that A union B is equal to A intersect B. So if X is an element of A, we would like to get the union of A and B or the intersection of A and B involved here so that we can use this information. What do we know about X if it is in A? Well, by definition of set union, that would mean that X is also an element of A union B. However, since we know A union B is equal to A intersect B, that would mean that X is also an element of A intersect B. But that means by definition of set intersection that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. Since we assumed that X was in A, the important part for us is that X is an element of B. Thus, if X is an element of A, it must also be an element of B. And so we've proven our desired subset relation that A is a subset of B. Important thing to notice here that is the case with a lot of basic set theory proofs is there is no meaningful difference between the set A 
and the set B. We have the same information about both of them, so the exact same logic would be sufficient to prove that B is a subset of A. Let's quickly see it just to show you what I mean. Next, we would need to show that B is a subset of A to show that A and B are equal. We would do this the same way. If X is an element of B, we need to show that it must also be an element of A. If X is an element of B, then by definition of set union, X is an element of A union B. However, since A union B equals A intersect B, this means that X is an element of A intersect B, which means that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. We already know that X is an element of B, so the important part there is that X is an element of A, thus if X is an element of B, then X is an element of A, and so we have our desired subset relation that B is a subset of A. So you can see the logic we used here was exactly analogous to the logic we used to show that A is a subset of B in totality we have shown that A must equal B, and that's the proof. So certainly, if we've got two sets A and B, then their union is equal to their intersection if and only if the sets themselves are equal. And I hope this video helped you understand the proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the jolliest math lessons on the internet.